Tesla has been surpassed. China's top electric carmaker BYD sold more electric vehicles in the final quarter of 2023. Entity's Dave Martin has more. China's top electric carmaker BYD has outsold Tesla, making it the biggest EV company in the final quarter of 2023. It sold around 525,000 cars, while Tesla sold around 485,000, both record quarters for the companies. At the rate that BYD is growing, with a huge influx of cash and the huge sales and the growth of the brand line and the product itself, because they do come from building batteries, you will soon see that they are going to start taking over Tesla. Car expert Lauren Fix says BYD performed better for many reasons. Warren Buffett is an investor giving them an influx of cash. China dominates the global electric vehicle battery market. In fact, BYD started off as a battery company. This lets them make their own batteries at low cost and sell for low prices. The China Communist Party directly supports BYD, partially by giving it tax breaks and incentives. BYD does not sell in the U.S. Fix says if it does, this will totally destroy the U.S. marketplace when it comes to electric vehicles. Consumers aren't going to believe the low prices. I'm not saying the quality is there. I'm not saying the warranty is there. But if you need transportation and you have to purchase an electric vehicle for your state regulations or for your personal choice, you're going to find these vehicles coming in at a very low price. Tesla still sold more electric cars over the entirety of 2023, but its lead over BYD is shrinking significantly. In 2022, Tesla sold 400,000 more cars. Last year, in 2023, it sold only 230,000 more. This is Dave Martin for NTD News. A salt lake in California has become a valuable source of lithium, a rare metal used to make batteries. According to one expert, it could help supplement existing supplies as the demand for lithium grows. Entity's Eileen Eng has the story. California's Salton Sea has been a treasure trove of all kinds of minerals and elements for years. But recently, it became a white gold mine with one of the largest lithium brine deposits in the world. It definitely can meet California's needs and, and probably most of the North America. Um, the other question is, you know, how long will that, that uh, geothermal brine be able to produce that lithium? The answer is they really don't know, but they're saying at least 100 years. Timothy uh, Kelly, president and CEO of the Imperial Valley Economic Development Corporation, says it could pave the way for a potential technology production boom and economic growth as California strives to transition to go electric. Lithium is a main component in making lithium-ion batteries for electric vehicles. Currently, China is the main processor of lithium deposits. But if California can mine its own and draw in investors, it may rely less on imports. But Kelly said supply cannot keep up with demand, so the value of lithium has gone up. And so this would help to supplement that, but what we're going to see in the future is that price is going to continue to rise because there's going to be more, not only vehicles, but other equipment that's going to be replaced with battery. And that's um, that could be lawnmowers, it could be uh, other electronic equipment, but also battery storage. And so that's a, the big increase we're seeing also as we've moved to uh, solar and, and wind generation then there's been a need for battery storage. And so that, that's where we're seeing a lot of uh, demand here in the Imperial County. Kelly said Imperial County is a huge exporter of renewable energy to the Los Angeles area, Baja, California, and Arizona. What we're doing with the brine today is we separate the liquids from the solids, flash the liquids into steam, and then uh, take the solids, combine it back with the liquids, and put it back in the ground. And so it's a circular system. There are 10 geothermal plants at the Salton Sea and permits for five new plants. Each cost about $1.5 billion to build. 